Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I am the Niche Fragrance Collector, and this is my bestest friend, Joshua. What's up, the Aromatic Kid? The Aromatic Kid. We're gonna talk about Millicene uh, and Rolfa. Young Aromatic Kid, Josh, has three creeds in the collection. Yep. I am his pusher. I mean, I've been the guy who's been uh, sort of pr promoting the fragrances. Yeah, it's influential. I actually gave this one here to Josh to test over the last few weeks. Yes. Yeah, so tell me about what did you what did you think of it? You fell in love with it pretty quickly, actually. Yeah. For me, yeah, Rolfa is a, is a fragrance that's very easy to love. You know, it doesn't. It's one of those fragrances. You know, we either hate or love it. Um, I think the majority of people can say they really like a Rolfa. Um, it, it is pretty popular. Yeah, I, I bet it's a pop, uh, poppy perfume. But for me, it gives me that, you know, aquatic vibes. Very citrus. I, when I smell it at first, you know, it gives me that. I pick up, you know, uh, lemon, lime. Actually, sorry, yeah, spray on that. skin. On skin. Oh, no, you spray on the card if you want. I'm going to get a spray on skin because. Give me a hit. Give me a hit, baby. Actually, right here. Right you hit my watch, man. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm, just trying, I'm trying to move away from so you don't hit the <laughs> I watch. I can't see the nozzle. I'm just spraying. So there's one thing about, so when I first got Erolfa, there was, it took me a little while to fall in love with it, I have to be honest. Mm. Yeah, so the opening for me, I, I'm picking up like a lime, lemon. Yeah. Very citrus. But it does, I, I still get that aquatic feeling. I don't know if there's any aquatic notes in there. I really don't know any aquatic notes to be to begin with, to be honest. Mm. It's meant to be, I mean, the, the story goes that it's, it was inspired by sailing through the Mediterranean. And it does have that sort of aquatic sort of nature. Yeah, I could see myself, you know, walking through the Italian... I could see myself doing Italy, walking with this perfume. Like, You're with a pretty lady, I'm with my wife. Yeah, but... It'd be awesome. What, those Italian, Open like, shirt. lakes and stuff? Now, there's one thing in here, and this is where I had a hard time. Mm. It has a weird, kind of a weird opening. Not as weird as Viking. We're gonna, we're gonna be talking about Viking shortly. But it, it has a very fruity... For me, I don't mind it. You, don't, you like it? Because supposedly there's watermelon in, in the actual... In the, in the heart note of the fragrance. Mm. And I think that watermelon throws me off a little bit. It's like, I, I, don't, I don't quite... I mean, it, it sort of settles down in the dry down. I find the dry down spectacular. I really enjoy the dry down yeah. of this fragrance. I think for me... I can't, it's kind of hard to smell the watermelon, to be honest. Mm. I think the lime and the lemon is very... like. They were at the four. Yeah, overwhelms the watermelon a bit. Right, right, right. So I, I don't, but it, it works really well for me though. To at, be where would you wear this? I mean, well, where were you wearing this? Oh. At the moment. I work from home, so it's kind of hard for me to like. <clears throat> I get good like good idea what what people think about outside of my house, but everyone in my house really liked the smell. Actually, uh, uh, Josh's father was equally in love with this one here. Yeah, he did like this one a lot too. Yeah. And I think your mum liked it too. Yeah. I think she liked but when it. I wear this, I always think in my head like, like we're talking about, you know, Italy. You know, for me, I was thinking more lakeside Italy, mm. you know, in the hills. Mm, mm. You know, with a pretty oh. girl and, and like... <laughs> pretty, that's twice with a pretty girl. Listen, I gotta find someone. <laughs> but, right, so where would you wear it? Is it a going out fragrance or not? Is it a day fragrance? It's a day fragrance. Right, yeah. For me, for me, it's not a fragrance that you'd make a statement with. Right. But more to, you know, help with Compliments for a good time. Right, I, I would I would agree. I find that this is an awesome day fragrance. Great for the office. Yeah. Um, going out, uh, just you know, physical activity, all that sort of I stuff. I think it's a very outdoor fragrance. Yeah. I found that. Well, I find that for me, the sillage on this isn't huge. Mm. I don't know what it was like for you. I mean, it was, yeah, it's, it's not amazing, but it's still pretty good. It's not that bad. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. So it would for me, it was like from body to moderate in, in that sort of space. Mm. On the opening, you're looking at lemon, lime, mandarin, basil, bergamot, and ginger. Then violet accords in the heart with fresh flowers, lavender, coriander, watermelon, cucumber, and jasmine. Then in the base, you're looking at sandalwood, musk, and cedarwood. Like when I smell it on card, I, I'm getting more florals coming yeah. through. But on skin, well, on my skin, I am getting more fruitier notes at the start. I'm getting the lemons and the limes and stuff like that. But I, I feel like that that the maybe it's a watermelon and the cucumber. I'm getting something else coming through, which is a little bit like eh, I'm not so sure. Mm. But again, on the dry down, love it, absolutely spectacular. Yeah, and for me, I think it would last about two sprays would last you about six hours for me. 
maybe different for you, would you say? Yeah, I spray a bit more. So uh, when, I'm, when I'm wearing this, I'm, I'm actually out and about doing things. I normally spray four times. Yeah. And I spray on the back of my neck. And I actually enjoy it because I'm getting a little bit of a, a waft around me as I, as I move around. So again, when, it, when I begin to sweat and stuff like that, they actually, the fragrance pops nicely. Now the next one that I have, Josh only just smelt this today. So before we started filming. So it's, it's pretty much a blind smell, we could say. It was a blind smell. I've already forgotten the smell. We're gonna spray on skin. And I find that it's a really beautiful aquatic fragrance. I really, I'm a big fan of this particular fragrance. The only thing that I wish it could do more of is actually push itself out. So it, it's not necessarily a body scent. It falls between a body and a moderate mm -hmm. position. The opening's pretty strong, but I don't know about the, set, the um, dry down. I think the dry down is what you're the talking about. The dry down yeah. is spectacular. It's a musky, salty um, seaside. I feel like, literally, I feel like I'm standing um, somewhere and getting sea spray. So there's, when we, um, we had an opportunity to travel, we were in Croatia. We went on an island, so in Dubrovnik, um, and the, the smell of the sea air in this, in this mm. town at, at, in the evening is something similar to this. It brings me back to that place. So I don't know whether it was, it's the citrus or the sea spray or something, but it's a, this for me, and again, I do love aquatic fragrances. I'm a big fan of aquatic fragrances, but maybe because I, I think of my other aquatics that I have and they don't necessarily all they're not really punchy, you know? Yeah. And, I, and I guess maybe that's what I'm praying, asking for, praying for. Well, that's a bit extreme. Um, asking for, that the fragrance sort of gives it a bit more, just pushes out a bit more. But yeah. it's, got, it's got salty, it's got salty notes yeah, in Yeah, it reminds me of like, this would be a great perfume if you're on a yacht. I don't, oh. have, I don't have a yacht, and I, I've never been on a yacht. But you can feel, honestly, what you're saying is but, right. But it does remind- It does, it gives you that vibe. Yeah. It gives you that, the, there is something about the, the fragrance where you, it, it does transport you, you know? So- Yeah, and everyone, I don't think anyone could say the beach is not like a happy place for some. So it all America gives you this happy vibe. Absolutely. In the top notes, you're looking at bergamot, black currant, and violet leaves. Then in the heart, orris, salty marine notes, and finally in the base, cedarwood, musk, and sandalwood. It's interesting that both of these fragrances have the same anchoring notes: cedarwood, sandalwood, and musk. And yet, they really are two very distinct yeah. and separate fragrances. And obviously it's all the other notes that are in them in the, in the, on those top notes and heart, etc. So I find that this fragrance has really good longevity on me. I do spray five times. Yeah. So I spray three on my chest, one on my arm, and one on the back of my neck. Now, give me five, six hours, and I feel like I'm not getting the fragrance. I start moving around, and all of a sudden, the fragrance begins to bloom again and I'm picking up that fragrance. I actually was out, we had a big filming job. I was wearing this for the day. And even deeper in the day, I was picking up the fragrance. So I was picking it up, but again, I go back to my original request, mm. my plea. I just wish that it could blossom, that it could just sort of bloom out a bit more so that others around me can pick it up a lot, a lot more. I find that like, for instance, Aventus Cologne mm. has an awesome, has an awesome well, seal. Well, I think with this, it's, got a, it's an awesome smell. It is an awesome smell. And I, like you said, you know, if it did blossom like that, I think this could easily be the top dog in the Creed mm. collection. Well, I, look, I think this, I think most people know that this is actually one of the one of the, the big players. Yeah, you know? they really love this particular fragrance. Well, I'm, I'm to be honest, I really like the smell, so I can understand why. Both of these are wonderful aquatic fragrances, but if you want a really true aquatic, then Millicene is really for me. That's where it's. Yeah, at. and if you want a bit of a mix of citrus and aquatic, I think Arolfo is a, is a good option. If you're interested in these particular creeds or any of the other creeds, you can go to Libertine Parfumery. The code is NFC, and they will provide you with a gift with purchase valued at $120, which is basically samples from their different collections. Yep. Thank you, Joshua, the aromatic kid. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it a lot. You know, thank you for giving me it's, I need these perfumes out to It's me. fun. It, actually, you should see the, his eyes light up when I'm like, here, take these. I want you to- You see my wardrobe, all the perfumes in there. I don't know any other kid my age has got these perfumes in there. Right, how cool is that? Yeah, yeah, I gave cool. him three fragrances the other day, it was like $1,500 worth. Yeah. Now next week, he's gonna be talking about Viking. Yep, And I'm Viking. gonna be talking about Aventus Cologne. I've been, uh, if you're following us on Instagram, you can see I am a huge, massive fan of Aventus. I like Aventus, mm. but I think Aventus Cologne is... Um, is better? I, yeah, I, look, I don't wanna say it, but yeah, I think so. All right, we'll link for the next video. Thanks everyone, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Mm.